What's up guys, it's Brozine here. Today I'm going to show you five events you can use in Cruise Control that'll immediately improve your stream and I've included all of those events already in code form down below in the description. Let's check them out now. All right, this first event is how to do a custom channel point redemption. This is useful if you want to have a piece of custom media, so a, a chat alert as well as some audio all trigger when somebody redeems something uh, from your channel point redemptions. In my example here, we have on channel point, which is the call trigger. You're going to put your redemption name in quotations. In my case, the redemption is 15 push-ups, but you would put whatever the event you want to trigger is. Chat send, bros and carry, that's an emote of mine. It's push-up time, announce that to the chat. Bros and carry, so it'll show another emote. It, it's like a dumbbell that I have for one of my emotes on Twitch. Then we want to take OBS and turn the source push-ups, which is the name of your source, and turn it on. Delay 8, which is how long the source remains on before it's shut off again, or the next action takes place, which in this case would be OBS source push-ups off. Alright, so now that you have your channel redemption created, it's been saved to Cruise Control, let's try that out. And when we click redeem, we should see our custom push-up alert. All right, it worked, perfect. This next event is just a simple chat command. If you wanted to personalize your stream with a custom command, with some custom text, you could do this. You wanna put on command, the letter E for everyone. If you wanted just yourself to be able to use it, it would be B for broadcaster. Zero is the cooldown. This means everybody could technically spam it if they wanted to. And the command is actually exclamation point example. When they type exclamation point example, chat's going to send example. And we could test this here. There you go. So this next command is actually a modification of the previous one. And basically I use this command for when I die in a game or if I'm playing a fighting game like Mortal Kombat or Super Smash Brothers and I get knocked out, the chat can basically type exclamation point KO for a custom knockout animation. And the chat, the text is very similar to the last one, on command, everyone, 15 second delay so that the, the whole trigger doesn't constantly get spammed, exclamation point KO, send Brosen King knockout. That's some emotes again. Turn on KO alert. Delay five, the duration of the alert, and then turn it off. And it looks like this. Back out. Next command is a custom anthem command. This is very useful for any VIPs you have that come to your stream. Uh, moderators, anybody famous that you know. This is the stream command you want to use. So you're going to go on command, of course, to start. U means user, so you want to put the user's Twitch name, then the cooldown, which is zero, and then the command you want them to use. This means that only the user, not so busy in my example, can use this command. If anyone else, including yourself, the, the broadcaster typed this, uh, it would not work. So chat send, not so busy to enter the chat, OBS source not so on, cooldown of the custom alert and then turn the source back off now for the purposes of this example i've actually modified the command so that i can do it i've changed it to everyone um, but when you set this up you definitely if you want just that specific person to have that anthem make sure you have you space their actual twitch name so that only they can use it but this would what this is what you would see if not so entered my chat and typed exclamation point not so That's a custom alert I made for him. He's a big fan of Blue and the Yeti microphone series. This last command is pretty useful if you are writing a lot of events and triggers in Cruise Control and you don't want to manually update the cache of the Cruise Control index file every time you want to save your code. So what you can do here is create a basically a reset or boot up command for Cruise Control. And you do that by just creating your command like you normally would. And when you type you personally would be the broadcaster type exclamation point boot 
type in reset what reset does for cruise control is basically re initialize cruise control and pull a fresh version of the triggers file in your notepad and then on in it this means on initialization and then chat will send cruise control enabled once it's reset Let's type boot and cruise control enabled there you have it guys those are five simple cruise control events and triggers that you can use to basically immediately improve your stream and make it much more interactive there are many ideas on the community discord that i will link in the description below far beyond the processes of my own brain there are amazing developers amazing community efforts creating crazy events and triggers i highly encourage you to go to the link in the description and check out that community discord for any more advanced events as well as if you're creating a custom event and maybe you need some help um you know mapping out the trigger and how you would actually write the event itself They'll gladly help you. It's a very supportive community. As always, if you liked this video and you want to see more tutorials on emerging Twitch technology, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Guys, you have a great day.